In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to lose that next five to 7% of body fat to reach your physique goal, which for me is something like this, and how to do it and guarantee that you don't lose any muscle. Hey guys, this is Paul Arella from ProPhysique.com and today we're gonna talk about how to lose body fat, how to lose that next five to 7% body fat that you've been wanting to lose and we're gonna talk about how to do it without any muscle loss, and I can guarantee you won't lose any muscle if you follow these basic steps. By the end of this video, you're really gonna understand the basic concepts of losing body fat, keeping muscle, and keeping this going. Now, today's question comes from right here on my Instagram direct message, and it comes from a question from a great place, someone who's already implemented some of the things that I've been discussing on my channel about how to lose body fat. So now we're gonna get into a little bit more detail on just how to lose this next five to 7% body fat. At 5'7", I've gotten up to 235, but normally been around 185. I decided I needed to change, and I've been following your suggestions of cardio, dumbbells, nutrition is staying the same, 10%, 10 times body weight with a focus on protein. Birthday is coming up. I think I'm currently 25 to 27% body fat. Is there any possibility of getting to 20% by December 5th without losing muscle mass? I carry my weight in my stomach, my chest, and I've never had some man boobs. Any help, the consult would be appreciated. David, if you're looking for a consult, I've got you covered there. There's a link below. You go to prophysique.com slash sign up. I'll put it in the description. I'll also put it in the first comment. Would love to hear from you. Um, but if you're just looking for some advice, any of you guys looking for advice, that's what I want to help you with. These kind of decisions are really what help me help you guys, okay? Because this information is something that it's taken me years, more than a decade, to really fully understand the big picture of fat loss. Because when you start learning about fat loss, you hear little pieces. You hear sugar is bad. You hear fasted cardio is good. But what really determines fat loss is your 24 hour window, your seven day a week window. That's what determines fat loss. It's not these minute changes, right? Those minute changes can have a big impact downstream. And that's why I love to talk about the details of fat loss because it's not simply eat less, move more. Although that is a part of the process. So what I wanna talk to you today about is why losing this next to five to 7% body fat, you are guaranteed not to lose any muscle. You're already tracking your protein. And if you guys don't know how much protein you should be taking in, the easiest way to sum it up is to say, if your daily weight goal is 180 pounds, hit 180 grams of protein. That's gonna provide you all the protein you need to keep and build muscle throughout the process. Now, if you don't even know how to use macros or where to start with that, I do have a free calculator. You plug in some basic information, I'll put it on the screen here for you. And it's just gonna spit out some numbers for you, some meals for you. It's gonna help you understand kind of the basics. Then you can use your nutrition app and start fine tuning where your nutrition is at. So now that we know you have your protein in place, what keeps and build muscle is two things. You gotta have enough protein. You gotta get the stimulus. As long as you keep training, as long as you're taking in efficient protein, you are going to be able to lose body fat without the risk of muscle loss. Now, why do people feel like they're losing muscle? Because there are gonna be days when you're in a caloric deficit where your performance might not be good at the gym. But I promise you, muscle tissue is very, very resilient. It takes your body a lot of work to add muscle. It doesn't like to lose it. Losing muscle, as you can see, I'm a natural bodybuilder. I've been doing this for 30 years. My physique does not change. If I take a week off from the gym, if I train harder for a week, there's not a lot of fluctuations. It's such a slow and steady climb. Don't be concerned about muscle loss, even if your performance is down, even if the scale is down, okay? Body fat coming off is a challenge, and sometimes you have to go to places that are going to impact your performance a little bit negatively. So what are my suggestions for someone like you who wants to lose this next five to 7% body fat? It's very straightforward. You did not mention anything about your daily activity, okay? You said you do a little bit of cardio. For me, the favorite thing that I do with my clients is I find opportunities in a 24 hour window or in a seven day week where we can move more. I have a treadmill right behind this camera. I get up every day and I walk on it. It allows me to stay leaner. Why? Because most of us, once we get past adolescence, are sedentary. We have jobs that require us to sit. We have kids that require us to take care of them. We have jobs, we have whatever we're doing, sitting in a car, working. It doesn't involve a lot of activity. What I have found, and this has kind of been my theory for the last couple of years now, is that our metabolisms do not slow down as we age. We slow down as we age. I'm 48 years old, guys. I am the leanest and most muscular I've ever been in my life with the least amount of effort. Now, yes, 
That includes training for 30 years and learning a lot of stuff along the way that I did not understand at the beginning, okay? I now make sure I get my protein, I make sure I get my creatine, I don't miss my workouts, I do more activity at home, but these are things that you can implement. If you wanna lose body fat quickly in a short amount of time, I suggest you start walking, you start riding a bike, you start finding ways to be more active multiple times per day. This is gonna boost your metabolism, it's gonna reduce your hunger. I know that sounds weird, but I promise you guys, low intensity steady state cardio, which I would define as heart rate under 140, reduces hunger it does for me i've seen it in the research and for some people that may be different this is obviously an individual lifestyle that we're dealing with but the idea is it has low impact okay we're not going to be tired afterwards we're not going to be exhausted we're not going to be hungry we're not going to be less likely to do less when someone says to me coach isn't running better than walking i say listen if you compare 60 minutes of running to 60 minutes of walking you're going to burn more calories in that 60 minute run but you're gonna be so damn exhausted that your non-exercise activity or the rest of the 24 hour window that you're dealing with, you're gonna actually burn less calories. So which is better? You can make the argument for both. I'm gonna stick with the argument for what's best is what's best for my fat loss throughout the entire day, not for that one hour window. Plus at 215 pounds, my joints can't, can't take the pounding of running. I can walk all day long. In fact, I find opportunities to walk. If I have a work trip, I go to bodybuilding shows just about every weekend. When I get to the airport, I don't sit down. I walk the whole time. Why? It just gives me more freedom, more freedom with my calories. And honestly, digestion is better. Inflammation is lower. Walking guys, moving, movement is probably the most important thing to our long-term health and success. And I think a lot of that research and a lot of that information is, is slowly coming out now is that a lot of these problems that we're having with our weight management is about movement. So that's what I would suggest to you. Create a plan, buy a treadmill, buy a bike, go outside, join a gym, find something that's easy access, because if you can make it a part of your day, think of it like brushing your teeth. You don't think about brushing your teeth. You just go to the bathroom, brush your teeth. Same with me. I don't think about cardio. I wake up, I go for a walk. That's it. And it's done. Make that a part of your day. Focus on losing, you know, one to 2% of your body weight per week. That's going to prevent muscle loss. Keep up with your workouts. Keep up with your protein. And I will talk to you tomorrow.